What are invariant motor program features? Invariant motor program features are the aspects of the motor program do not change trial to trial. The invariant motor program features include the order of events, so the sequence that the muscles fire in. So with a given sport skill, the order that the muscles are activated is constant each time you repeat the skill and does not change. Hence, it's an invariant feature. The relative force that is used is also an invariant feature. Now, that doesn't mean how hard you're firing. It means the relationship of force between two or more muscles stays constant. Similar to that, the third invariant feature of a motor program is relative timing. Most people get the idea of order of events as it's fairly straightforward, but let's talk a little bit more about relative force and relative timing. What is relative force and what is relative timing? Imagine you have two muscles involved in executing a motor skill. If the first muscle fires a burst for that long and the second muscle fires a burst for that long, there is a relationship between the length of firing here and the length of firing here. So for simplicity's sake, let's just call it T and 2T. What that means is if you do the movement faster, that relationship has to stay constant. And if you do the movement more slowly, that relationship also has to stay constant, where that length and that length are proportional and that length and that length are proportional. This is also true for relative force. If the amplitude of the first muscle is this and the amplitude of the second muscle is this, you can imagine that if you do a movement more gently, you get this and you get this. And if you do a movement more strongly, you get this and you get this. So this amplitude and this amplitude have a ratio that is relative and stays proportionate, as does that and that and that and that. And that is relative timing and relative force.